Hey guys, Tony Maritato here, licensed physical therapist. And in the Total Knee Replacement Support Group, we had a question come up. And I've seen this question and I've specifically seen these words described this way. Uh, a member of the group said that she's experiencing a Velcro tearing type sensation um, during certain functional activities. Tearing like Velcro. I hear that a lot and so I want to address that because I think that it's important and I've seen it posted in Bone Smart and some other online forums. So what would be causing that Velcro tearing sensation in the knee joint after a total knee replacement? Typically it's associated with walking forward down the stairs and it's associated with getting out of a, a chair, getting up from a chair, getting out of a low seat, something like that. Um, the knee is transitioning from flex, flexion to extension or extension to flexion. And so before surgery, prior to the knee replacement, behind me on the screen you can see the word crepitus. We would have attributed that sensation to crepitus. I can tell you without sharing too much information when I hear my wife walk down the stairs, that's what it is. I hear the grinding, I hear the crunching, I hear the, the sensation um, each step she takes down the stairs. Now, interestingly enough, it's not as common going upstairs because of the biomechanical workings of the knee, but going downstairs or anytime you go to flex the knee where your knees are over your toes, you typically get that. And what it is, is the underside um, of the patellar, patella, which is the kneecap, the underside is no longer smooth. It starts to have these little fibers and those fibers are being compressed against the bottom of the femur, which is your thigh bone. And so as we squeeze, and the way I usually do it in the clinic when I'm demonstrating, is I say, first imagine having two smooth surfaces. Those are the cartilage surfaces when you're young and healthy, and they just glide over each other and they don't even make a sound. But then as the surfaces start to get a little bit bumpy, like the knuckles on my finger, when they grind against each other, they start to make this kind of crackling, grinding sound. Um, now the question is, well, if you had a knee replacement, they've removed all of those joint surfaces. So what is still making that sound and why is it different than the kind of crepitus we're used to before surgery? Well, there's a couple reasons. One is if they didn't put a cap or replace the bottom of the patella, you're still gonna have some of that uneven surface on the bottom of the patella that's going to be grinding, crunching, crackling over the smooth implant that they put into the knee replacement. If they did put a button or a cap underneath the patella, now you have an artificial surface rubbing over a second artificial surface. And again, with adequate compression and depending on the alignment of the patella, you know, the patella is basically a bone. The patella is the kneecap. The kneecap is a bone that floats inside a piece of connective tissue that could be called a tendon or a ligament, depending on which part of it you're talking about. And so it really floats over the knee. If you guys remember from physical therapy, when you had your knee in full extension, the therapist probably did what we call patellar moves, where they took the kneecap and gently moved it side to side. It's because it's a floating bone. Um, and so what happens is as you go to flex the knee, that floating bone starts to get pulled against the surface of the implant. And so although they're smooth surfaces now, there's still going to be a certain amount of friction. And depending on the synovial fluid and the health of the surrounding tissue, um, you might not have optimal alignment. It might be rubbing on the edge a little bit but it does create that kind of Velcro tearing sensation. Now, typically it's not painful, but it's certainly not something that we want to promote and do more of. So what I would say is, um, the simple answer is connect with a good physical therapist. Let them look at the alignment of the hip, knee, and ankle so that we can optimize the alignment of the patella within the, the groove of the knee so that when you do go from flexion to extension or extension to flexion in a standing position where we get a lot of compression, maybe we can minimize the grinding effect. Something you can try right now is if you know there's a specific movement that produces this Velcro tearing sensation, what I would do is I would put my foot flat on the floor 
and I would rotate my knee either medially or laterally and go through the same motion. And what I bet is you're gonna find that if you do it naturally, you're gonna have that Velcro tearing sensation. But if you move your knee a little wider than your ankle and you go to stand up or sit down, whatever motion makes the noise, it's not gonna happen. And it's because you're changing the alignment of the patella within the groove so that you have maximum surface area and minimum compression. So play around with that stuff. The other thing that sometimes could happen is there are other soft tissue um, components surrounding the knee that might be getting pinched within the joint surfaces. And so if they get pinched, you get that kind of Velcro tearing. Um, we had discussed within the group the possibility that it is a scar tissue release and adhesion breaking. But in those cases, it happens once and then it doesn't happen again. So if you have a mobilization under anesthesia, and surgeons have told me this, it sounds like Velcro tearing when they break through the adhesions, but it's broken and then it doesn't come back. It's not the kind of thing that's repeatable. So if you're experiencing Velcro tearing on a regular basis, I would recommend that you look at the alignment of the hip, knee, and ankle, intentionally play with widening or narrowing your base of support, moving your feet, twisting your knees, doing something to change the alignment intentionally and going through the motion to see if that makes a difference. If it does, let me know in the comments below this video. If it doesn't, I wish you the best. Connect with a licensed physical therapist or get back to your surgeon to see why you're having that kind of sensation going on. I'll catch you guys on the next video.